Now, do you remember about a year ago we started following three couples, each desperate for a baby and each prepared to try a different method to conceive? So, how did they get on? Well, last week, you remember, we caught up with Sam and Nave and their happy news that after a change in diet resulted in a pregnancy, baby due early next year. This morning, our second couple, Natasha and Nick, are back and they agreed to try out acupuncture. <laughs> So how long have you been trying to get pregnant? We, we've been trying for the best part of four years. We both thought that I was pregnant. The tests came back positive um, and I'd gone through all the blood tests with my uh, midwife and I went for my first scan and we both sat there looking at the screen and, and there was nothing, nothing there. there. Yeah. And um, they said, there's nothing there but you've got cysts on your ovaries and that's where it all started. These first few treatments really are aimed at just getting them feeling really well, mm. getting everything in place as far as lifestyle things right. and, and feeling good about what's happening. And the next course of treatment will be focused more on getting everything working properly, right. particularly menstrual cycle, yes. which is that's essential that that is sorted out. We're kind of to stage three now, right. where hopefully maybe sure. something will happen. I've actually um, become more regular since right. the treatment started. Great, and that was always a problem before, and that is a problem yes. when you're trying to have a baby. Yes, because um, it used to be a case I was only having maybe one every six months, so now yes. it's a case of it's coming on time and regular. That's great. Go away and have fun, oh, yeah. and I shall see you very soon, and fingers crossed. Well, Natasha and Nick are here now, along with acupuncturist Gerard Kite. It's lovely to see all of you again. Great to see you. Now, the news is no baby on the way, no. but things are looking a lot better. Things are. Um, I, I've actually just started to get really regular now. Great. Um, I'm feeling a lot happier on myself. Things happened um, over the last couple of months. Um, inside of work and personal reasons right. as well and now it's okay so I just want to let things just go and mm. just let them progress naturally now. Have you found with the acupuncture not only has it made your, your periods regular which is fantastic but has it de-stressed you a bit do you feel that? I just let everything breeze past me now. Good because you, you were a real worrier weren't you? I was. You t I took everything in and you, you worried and fretted. I did. But you've, you've kind of let go of that. Yes You're I'm calm and so calm. Women. That's really really good <laughs> and you must have noticed um, Nick a big difference have you? A big difference in both yeah. of us I think both it's yeah. um, affected us both individually and as a couple. Um, we're a lot more um, compassionate to one another now we don't row so much right. and it's definitely brought a better level into our relationship I've got to admit I feel lost when I don't have the treatment mm. if I've had a while where I haven't had it I do feel a bit like I yeah, need it you right. know, it's kind of and the great thing about this Jared is that there's no side effects you know no. you're not putting drugs or anything into your bloodstream or you're not having you're not under that pressure that sometimes you are well you always are with IVF you know this is all very natural yeah and I think the important thing is Nick and Natasha were trying for so long and there is that tendency then to get so focused on that when there's a baby then everything will be fine. Yes. And of course it's just not true and, mm. and that pressure in itself takes away from the chance of conceiving. Mm. So really, I mean, our, our aim always was that Natasha and Nick would feel better, yes. that they would be happier, be living their lives in a yeah. way that was better for them. And we said at the start, we said it's not going to happen overnight. No. You know, this could take a couple of years. I mean, it's been a year now, yeah. but you've got to get you've got to get yourself into the way of thinking and, and, and ready for it, almost ready for it in Definitely. a sense. And do you feel ready to become a mum? Um, I do. I think it's just going to take some time. Um, yes. To be quite honest, um, now I really just want to focus on things that are really important to me now, right. which is my career. Um, mm. being We're in spending, no rush, are we? No, do you know what? That's when it will happen. Yeah, I think you probably will now. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's, 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 that's yeah, the yeah. significant thing, yeah. I think people do get so hung up on yeah. this, mm. this one goal obsession. And, it's, mm. and that creates tension in itself. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely, which, mm. is, which is not good. You did have what's described as a phantom pregnancy, didn't you? Tell me, what, tell me about that. What happened? Um, basically, um, this is going back probably about June. Mm. Um, I everything was fine, going really well, yeah. um, and then I missed period. Right. Obviously, I'm thinking, oh my, yeah, you know, yeah. what's happening course, here? Um, I've done the test, run tests. Um, I did about three tests in mm. total, um, and all of them came back positive. Gosh. Um, even doctors and midwives, they wouldn't have known until the scan actually happened. Mm. Um, and you actually show all the signs of being pregnant. Right. Um, and you go through all the emotional mood swings, the sickness, the whole work. Um, and then, obviously, the scan came along and that was it. It's mm. just 
your, your heart sinks. Yeah. I know, because you've been there before. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, you, you, as, you, as you explained, you know, you'd had that, that before. In a way, though, it does show, or perhaps, I mean, I'm not a medical expert, but it, maybe it just does show that it's actually possible for you mm. to be pregnant. Would Absolutely, because hormonally yeah. you're seeing that things are starting to move in the right direction. Right. And because, first of all, ovulation was, was shown when you went to the hospital that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the cycle becoming regular and then actually having a hormonal shift with a, a positive pregnancy test. Mm. Mm. It, does, it does suggest that it is all moving in the right direction. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. great. And Natasha's young. You, know, you are what you dream, Natasha. Of time. Um, I'll be 24 in February. Yeah, baby. Exactly. Still a baby. <laughs> so you have got lots of time. Yeah. You shouldn't yeah. put yourself under too much pressure. No. Mm. So it's, it's good. So basically, still keep having the treatment, still keep doing what you do. And it's, I mean, I've had acupuncture for a really sore back because the, 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 the sort of medicine that the GP gave me just made me feel mm. awful. Mm. And, the th and it worked brilliantly. I can't mm. recommend it enough. No. It just was fantastic. If it wasn't for this treatment, I don't even think me and Nick would be here. Really? really? Mm. I think it's a little it's too good to be true at times. Acupuncture really is so effective. Mm. It's unbelievable. You've got to have an open mind, and you, and you really do, and, mm. and really, because it, it does, it's fantastic. It's really good. I think, I think the, the thing that's really important for people to realise with acupuncture, it really does affect how you feel in yourself. Yeah. And that's, that's when you get the health benefits. You know, the physical body really will follow orders mm. once you're feeling really yeah. well in yourself. No, for sure. Well, we wish you, we wish you well, <laughs> that's for sure. We really do. It's lovely to see you. Keep enjoying each other. We will. Keep enjoying yes. each other. And fingers crossed. And as soon as you find anything out, you phone me, OK? I will. Yeah. I will. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And, Jared, thank you very much well, indeed. My pleasure. Thank you, thank guys. You. And tomorrow we'll find out what happened with our final couple who were trying out IVF. We're going to take a quick break now. When we come back, making the call to escape domestic violence. But what happens then? We're going behind the scenes to meet the women rebuilding their lives in the safety of a refuge. I'll see you next